Hi guys, Sunsun Kitty, Kaios, and Rin here. Before we get into the video, we wanted to say thank you so much for helping us reach 2,500 subs on YouTube. Your love and support mean the world to us, and we couldn't have done it without you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another episode of the Genshin Championship. Hello everybody, today we have a very very exciting match for you guys. It is a whale versus whale. So Zinzin, can you please present the contestants? Yes sir, so today our two players are Legend DA and DHCWSP. So like Kyle said, they are two big whale players. So I'm really really excited to see how their match will play out. Alright, so let's go over the rules. Number one, you have to clear out the floor 12 of the Spiral Abyss as fast as possible. Number two, a maximum of two five-star weapons can be used. And number three, no offensive cards are allowed. Okay, now let's take a look at the Abyss Blessing, the Determined Moon. After a character's HP decreases, all party member will gain a stack. What this stack does is that it will increase your damage dealt by 8% for 8 seconds. And this effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds, max of 4 stacks. Yeah, so uh, I think this buff seems interesting for anyone that's going to be using Deya, if anyone really wants to use that copium of a character, or if uh, you guys use uh, Zhao or Hu Tao, you can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. There's also the release of Mika as well, so maybe he will be played, who knows, it would be spicy to watch. Alright, well with all that being said, let's get into the draft. On the side of Team Aether, we have Legend Ye at AR60, and on the side of Team Luming, we have DHC WSP also at AR60. Let's see what their first bans will be. Yep, yeah, on Team Aether, Legend Ye is going to start off with the very first ban. Of course, it's going to be Raiden Shogun. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it be? A very, very strong meta pick, so it is going to be Raiden Shogun. And DHC looks like he wants to take away some Dendro options with the Howl Hayden ban. Yep, indeed. Hey, look at those arms, man. Like, he's so beef. Or, where are Ito's arms, though? <laughs> Non-existent. Alright, now we have the Xiao ban coming through. And on the side of Team Lumine, DHC is gonna ban away the Wanderer. I really like this ban because Legend Ye has a very, very cracked Scaramouche. So it'll be to DHC's advantage to take that off the table. And right away we have a Hu Tao first pick on the side of Team Aether. Yeah, both uh, mom and son being banned here. Sag. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think in the very first half, they're probably going to prioritize a Pyro character. So I'm surprised that they didn't ban them to take it away from the opponent or they want to snatch it for themselves. But uh, against Abyss Herald, which are have they have cryo shields. I'm expecting to see Bennett and Jiangling being picked up somewhere here. It yep. would be very strong. So, for sure, for sure. And of course, because the Yelan was taken away by DHC, then Legend Ye doesn't have any other choices but to go Sing Chu to pair with the Hu Tao as vape. And of course, like you mentioned, the double pyro coming through here with Bennett and Jiangling is going to be very, very useful against the Abyss Herald. The shield is very annoying to deal with and can be very time consuming as well. And we have the Mona as a last choice here. Now I'm kind of surprised to see a Yao Yao Ben here being hovered. Is it gonna be locked in? It seems like it will. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but I think um, people will be like, hmm, why, why this Ben? Perhaps the HP is trying to keep his options open. Maybe try to take the Nihita for himself, right? Or you can even go for a Crow character because I think they have a Hydro Shield in the second half, so Crow characters are gonna be prioritized here, likely. So. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the Ayaka pick, of course, very, very strong. And right away, okay, Legend Ye denying the Shenhe from DHC by snatching it away, but it forces him to play the Ganyu pick. Uh, I do know that Legend Ye has a very strong Ye Miko and a Scaramouche, but I didn't know that he played Ganyu. Yeah, that was a very, very uh, strong, uh, strong yoink from uh, Legend Yai there. That's definitely gonna hurt uh, DHC for sure. And yeah. uh, I mean, they all have to go crowd here for the deal the first chamber, right? That's gonna be very important. And yeah. then we have Rosaria as a backup pick, which is really, really good adaptation from DHC here. She has very, very good crowd application. 
as well. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it'll just be a standard freeze on the side of Legend Ye. And I just wanted to point out that um, Team Aether banned the Ye Miko, but it's funny because considering his name. And it seems like Barbara's gonna be locked in at last for DHC. Yep, both sides running with a uh, freeze comp. Yep, uh, the Ayaka um, and the Venti. Pretty, pretty strong. And the Barbara, I'm assuming, will be holding the Thrilling Tails, so. Also very strong. I think same thing for Kokomi as well, by the way. Yeah. Probably both supports being holding the uh, TTTS. Alright, and let's jump into the Abyss. On the side of Team Aether, we have Zhongli, Xingqiu, Hu Tao, and Mona. All of them at C6 R5. Legend Yai is living our dream. Everyone C6. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And uh, we have uh, Mona with Trilling Tails, level 1, doesn't really matter because you got the passive oil, that's all you need. Uh, the C6 Jolie does offer healing, so maybe that's not the most preferred thing for Hu Tao, but I think he's gonna delete the enemies relatively extremely quick, so I don't think it really matters that much. Yeah, it is also a triple crowned Hu Tao, just wanted to point that out. Wow! That's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's rotating like extremely quick. His APM must be off the charts right now, insanely quick. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and he's also doing a uh, really good cancels with Hu Tao C1 there, as you can see with the dash cancel. I mean, he doesn't really need it, right? He's got C6. No, no, you still need to dash cancel because otherwise you're gonna go across the world, and you don't want to do that because you might lose some damage from it. So. Oh yeah, you gotta optimize every single small millisecond, of course. It's very clean, very clean so far. I like it. Very, mm -hmm. very good. It dies before we can even talk. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is what yeah. whale looks like. Whale warfare. Specifically in 55 seconds. All right, let's see if DHC can do the same or even better. Okay, guys, we can relate to this Kazuha at least. We can relate to someone. Some of oh, us can relate is, to Kazuha. C0. That is one cracked Yelan though. 91 yeah, so... crit rate to 205 crit damage. 41k HP, wow. Yeah, I think this is main DPS Yolan it looks like here. Oh yeah, for sure. Does not doubt it. Ooh, and using the E to run to the other side. Very, very nice. Oh, right, what is happening on the screen? Yeah, this is uh, the power of uh, the stove god, Guaba. Uh, spelling his flames on the... <laughs> And in but yeah, very well played. Seconds. And this is 22. When you think things cannot be crazier, and it's 22 seconds. That's insanely quick. All right, we've got C6 R5 across the board again. What an our trolling tells on Kokomi this time around. Yep. And this is the famous Shenhe Yoink pick, and we're gonna see how it does here. Yeah, but it, it's, it is C6 Ganyu, so. Uh, she's gonna be very quick on her damage. Oh, wow. Oh my god, only in two charge shots she did be able to delete that already. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And both of them are gonna group up, and I think they're gonna be frozen. Hopefully you can try to group them a little bit near each other. As he does, yep, with the Sucro socket. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. This, this is so quick, so... This is what uh, the power of money looks like when you have a lot of money to dispose. But as well as like uh, he's rotating extremely really well here. Yeah, I, I actually like the uh, Kokomi swap into the Ganyu all the time for the TTDS buff. And let's see the results. Uh, 57 seconds! Very, very incredible. Now, let's see how it compares to the Kamisato Ayaka pick, a C6 Ayaka, C0 Venti. We have the important one, it's Ayaka, C6. It's Barbara C6, the important one. If oh yeah, yeah. if, if you die, you're gonna come back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they got absolutely deleted, the first uh, group of mobs. They're gone. You can get away? Yeah, essentially both teams are playing like uh, relatively, like not the same character, but the same uh, style of comp, right? Both freeze, both vape, kind of, right? So uh, it's basically who can do it faster, and the 
depending on the map, which characters are better in some case, right? But overall, both players are doing incredibly well. Oh, Rosarius can actually take a hit here. But I don't think it really matters too much. Ayako Alt is extremely, extremely strong here. Oh my goodness, one rotation. There we go. In only 42 seconds. All right. And into the chamber two we go. Now we have the Magu Kenki, the Sword Ingenious Machine, Sword Marionette Master. Yep. The Magu Kenki. Sorry, I misheard that. But anyways, look at that hotel go! Holy crap, okay. Alright, well. There's not much to say, really. We're watching neutral case, guys. We're, we're just reacting with you guys at this point. Uh, we're left speechless as a... Uh, Magu Genki gets completely blown up, and uh, very smart by uh, Legend Yai making Magu Genki going against the wall, but in like quickly, quick succession, just gonna take him out. Okay, but did you see that? It's over 100k per charge attacks on Huta. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. If if I bought C6 and it didn't do that much damage, I'd be disappointed too. So <laughs> this is the you. ultimate. Uh, yeah, uh, you wish. You wish Mihoyo would give your money back. Yeah, uh, I want to see the vape on the Yelan though. I want to see how much it does, especially on her E. Yeah, it's so satisfying oh seeing uh, main DPS Yelan. I don't know why. Yeah. It's it's insane. Oh, but did you see her E pop though? Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. 23 seconds. God damn. Oh wow. All right, now we have the second chamber, second half. Now let's see if they can even outdo themselves and do this even quicker. I'm excited to see the Weenut fight later on. Yeah, I, really I think that's that's probably that. gonna be the highlight. I think everybody's looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna position himself to try to group up with the next batch of enemies that are gonna spawn here. Mm -hmm, and we have one tanky boy running at them. Now he's gonna group them up with a super swirl and freeze them all up. That's it. No, the C6 action. We've got a new charge shot coming in here. Nice. Remember, guys, uh, at home, if you don't have C6, it's not gonna look like clean like this and fast like this. Just remember. <laughs> Stop chattering my dreams. Okay, Ayaka, action! Guys, we all know the true carry is actually Barbara. F1 trick. Ooh. Punishment. Here we go. Time for Barbara C6 to the carry. If you die, you'll, you'll be alive still. The true carry. As we say, the true carries are the supports. Yep, uh, if you join the knife bonus, you can go uh, check out Barbara's fan club. Apparently, she has one in Monset, according to the story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's gonna freeze them all up here and let her Ayaka ult, and I think we should probably finish them off. This is very strong. Yeah, C6 Ayaka is no jokes indeed. There wow. We go. Impressive, impressive. Impressive indeed. And only 38 seconds. And let's get into the chamber three, the first half. So Kayasa, before we get into the second half, I actually wanted to talk a bit about the Weenut. You know how we always joke around saying, yeah, you're the part peanut? of the, <laughs> the Weenut peanut, yeah. Uh, I always say, oh, you're part of the two rotation gang, I'm part of the 1.5 rotation gang, right? But it's funny because DHC told me that it's actually possible to kill the Weenut before it even goes down, even once. So, wow. I kinda wanna see <laughs> if that's gonna happen. And oh my goodness. I hope we can get to see that. The Hu Tao nuke. Yeah. Honestly, I think you, I, I think the Weenut's probably like less difficult. It doesn't really do damage. He's, it's more like a, a gatekeep kind of enemy, right? Yeah. So, but, but these guys have C6, so I'm assuming that they can probably take it out relatively fast. Personally, I had guys, I don't know about you guys, I had more trouble against these ice level troll than the Wii Nut itself. Because the Wii Nut, like, sure he's very tanky, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really do any damage to you, right, compared to these guys. Oh yeah, these guys are, uh, they hurt a lot. Yeah, and you can get locked down by the ice claws on the ground. It won't be an issue for the HC though. In 22 seconds only, the gap is starting to be felt uh, in the timers, uh, so let's see if Ganyu can catch up against the Wii Nut here. 
All right, so setting up everything into the double charge shot on Ganyu. That's some great Your damage. Your prediction, guys, is is uh, the, uh sorry, is Legend Yai gonna be part of the one gang rotation or no rotation or two gang? Hmm? You need to know. The two rotation gang, you mean? Not the two yeah, gang yes. rotation. <laughs> the Arataki gang. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think um one rotation. Yeah. Pretty sure you can kill it before, right? Can't you? No, no yeah, unfortunately yes, not. Kill it here. Yeah. So it looks like one rotation is gonna be. Mm -hmm. No, for sure, for sure, one is plenty enough. Oh my goodness, that damage though. Wow. Wow. This is so quick. We not didn't stand a chance. No, he became a peanut. All right, 52 seconds. Let's see on the side of DHC predictions. Uh. I, I don't know, Ayaka has been insanely powerful, even without Shenha, so... Oh, what? Are you Honestly, changing Ayaka burst already? Oh, right he just needed beginning. a pattern that would come out, I guess. Holy, landing every single... Um, every single swirls from uh, the Ayaka burst. I'm gonna still say one rotation, yeah. Yeah, I think one rotation, yeah. Yeah. Although the Ayaka has her burst back up, though. Is he gonna yeah, try so, uh, to? Oh, I think he's gonna try. I think uh, the madman. Oh, wait, is he gonna one kill rotation? It? Zero is rotation he... gang. Oh, he what? did it! Oh my god! In 34 seconds. Uh, congratulations to Team Lumine for winning the Genshin Championship Patch 3.5. So congrats to player DHC WSP for clearing the abyss in only 181 seconds. That's really insane. Yeah, it seems like uh, when you pick Team Lumin, you have the best of luck. Hopefully Team Aether will be able to pick their first win. We're looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Team Lumin is now 5-0 in our championship series. Alright, a big thank you to DHC and Legend Ye for participating in this competition and for showcasing spectacular performances. A special thanks to our producer Rin as well, of course, as always. Now, if you're interested in participating in future championships and if you want to appear in our videos, then please join our Discord server through the link in the description box below. The server's name is Happy Gaming Cats, and upon joining, you'll be met with instructions on how to proceed and how to get into the competition. Alrighty, we'll see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching guys and take care. See you next time.